The word on the street is that now we have a drone that's a beast at night. It costs less than a thousand dollars and it fits right into your pocket. Stay tuned and I'm going to give you five hacks on how to get the best out of your DJI Mini 3 Pro at night. What is happening, my friend? It's your boy, Sean Alamian, or whatever you are, you're being fabulous. I got my hands on this baby not too long ago, and I really wanted to put it into tests. But more than anything, I wanted to test it at night and see how it performs when it starts to get dark. Just because I personally am a night shooter, you will barely find me filming anything during the day when it's bright out. I might show up when the sun is starting to set. I just might, but you definitely will see me with my camera when the sun has just set and it's starting to get dark. And that's mainly because I find it a lot more interesting and unique when the light of a city starts to glow and we're starting to get that nice dark blue sky and you slap a teal and orange lot from my lot collection that I've created recently for the DJI Mini 3 Pro and you got yourself a mind blowing shot. But jokes aside, I believe we've seen our fair share of daytime drone footage. And as creators, we want more night drone shots. Can we all agree on that? Tell me if you wanna hop on that train in the comments. But the problem is, before the birth of the Mavic 3, we really couldn't capture any decent night aerial shots, right? Mavic Pro 2, Mavic Air 2S, they all had a tough time when it got pitch black, unless you had access to a 20 some thousand dollar Inspire 2, of course, but not all of you were willing to spend three to five thousand dollars on a Mavic 3 because simply, you know, you're doing this as a hobby. But for the first time in history, we have a drone that shoots at f1.7. What? Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is as wide of an aperture we've ever gotten on a drone camera. And that is huge for all of us night drone footage junkies, if you will. So the Tesla Mini 3 Pro, I didn't want to just go out in my backyard. You know me, I don't do that. I wanted to travel to a city full of lights, a city with a ton of history and culture. So I decided to pack my bags and hit up the wonderful city of Istanbul. Akai, he's a professional drone pilot here from Istanbul. Beautiful day, beautiful sunset. And we're here to film the Galata Tower right behind me. You can see right there. A lot of seagulls, that's right. Makes me nervous. You know how I feel about seagulls. So we're gonna try a few things with the Mavic 3 and the Mini 3 Pro. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. The result of this trip was a short clip created by me that's been nominated for a few festivals in the best drone category and many of you have called it the best drone footage you've seen from the Mini 3 Pro. No cap, these are your words. So if you haven't seen it, click the link right up here to go ahead and check it out. I also did a whole video comparing the Mini 3 Pro with my Mavic 3 in Istanbul. You can also click the link right up here check that video out. Now let's dive into those five hacks I promised you on how you can get a killer night shot with your Mini 3 Pro. You've got to wait until the artificial lights of a place you're about to film come on. If it's a specific building or a mosque or you're filming a part of a town, you've got to wait until those lights come on because that's what creates that contrast from light to dark and that's what will give you that beautiful orange and teal that you're looking for. So don't shoot too early. Wait for the sun to set and then wait another 15 minutes, up to half an hour, and then you can go ahead and take off. Shoot at the lowest frame rate possible. With the Mini 3 Pro, you have the option to choose from 24, 25, and 30 frames per second. This allows you to bring your shutter speed to its minimum, which will allow the maximum amount of lights hitting the sensor while keeping the motion in your shot natural. So if your frame is 25 frames per second, the shutter should be at 150th of a second. 
With that shutter speed and an f1.7 aperture, I promise you, you will be able to film some beautiful night shots with your ISO at 200 with the Mini 3 Pro. That was my ISO most of the time. When I was filming in Istanbul at night, maybe I would go to 400, but you really gotta try it to believe me when I say this drone is a beast at night. Now, one little hack I can give you if you don't have a lot of movement in your shot and you wanna let some more light in when you're in a really dark scenario, you can even crank down your shutter speed to be as low as 1 25th of a second. I've done that a couple of times in the past in some really dark scenarios and I've gotten away with it without ruining my image. Shoot in decent alike. Now, you might be thinking, Sean, there isn't a lot of dynamic range going on at nighttime. I agree with you, but this is a trick I've been using and it's allowed me to end up having a lot of details in my shadows, which looks a lot more cinematic rather than a pitch black shadows type of shot. And for the DC and the night shots, I don't use the LUT converter that I've created myself that I've showed you guys in the previous videos because it just makes everything really dark. I simply just adjust the curves. I pull down the blacks just a little bit, leaving some details in the shadows. Hack number four shoot before it's pitch black now this is just a recommendation you can obviously still film when the sky is completely black but if you film at a time when you have some luminosity in your sky it just ends up looking a lot nicer to have some details in your sky and the composition in general looks more appealing i would say Find a place that's really bright to start flying over. I know that not every city has got a blue mosque like the one in Istanbul. I personally haven't seen such a beautiful lighting architecture on any building or a mosque in a city before, but you know what I mean, trying to find a place that's full of light. If you fly over a place that does not have a lot of glowing lights, your shot won't be as satisfying as you want it to be at night. All right, my friend, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want more content like this, hit the subscribe button until we see each other next time. Fly safe and fly responsible. Peace.